Hello everyone, this video would focus on the difference between line segments and rays. By definition, line segment is a subset of a line that connects two points. So if we are given a line right here, we remember that a line does not end on both um, direction so it goes infinitely on the other side it goes infinitely on the other side as well so if we say line segment again it is a subset of a line that connects two points when we say subset it's part of the whole line so we get this line right here and we remember that a line is made up of points so if we take two points on this line so let's say this uh, would be point a and point b if we are going to stop the line at each of these two points, that means we're going to erase this other side right here that extends infinitely on one side. This is what we call as the line segment. So this is actually read as line segment AB. So when we write it down, we put those two letters, the uh, the endpoints of this line segment. Then we put a um, symbol line segment on top of it. So this is read as line segment AB. Or this can also be written the other way. So that would be BA with a line segment on top. This is read as line segment BA. So both of these names that we have here actually refer to the same line segment right here. Now let's have the ray. Ray is a subset of a line that has a fixed starting point but no end point. So since again, ray is a subset of a line, so I'm just gonna draw the uh, line right here. So this is our line. Again, it extends indefinitely on both ends. The arrowhead is telling us that. So if we take points right here, so let's say this is point A and this is point B. When we say ray, it has a fixed starting point. So that means if we start on A, that's the point, we can go ahead and erase the rest of the other uh, tail of the line right here. So we are able to create a ray. Now, please remember that when we name a ray, we always start with the end point. So the end point here is A, and then it goes to B, and then we put that um, ray symbol on top of the um, these two letters here. So this is read as ray A, B. When you write B, A with a ray on top of it, that is not this ray that we're referring to. Remember, we always start with the end point, and B is not the end point of this ray. Now we go over this example here. So we are given two lines that intersect at point E. Intersect means they are touching at point E. Give another name for line DB. So this is read as line DB because the symbol on top of it is the line symbol. So we have DB is this line right here. So this diagonal line over here. So we can name this as BD, so we can just switch the letters around, so that would be line BD. Now the other way to name this could also be line ED, line DE, um, BE, or line EB. So any of those can be used to name this line right here, so they're just pretty much the same thing. Now let's move on to the next question right here. Name all rays with endpoint E. So this is the endpoint right here. So we remember that um, a ray is a subset of a line that has a fixed starting point but no endpoint. So the fixed endpoint that we have here would be um, point E. So we can go ahead and say that this will be our first ray from E to B. So we can go ahead and write that as ray EB. We also have uh, the opposite to that would be ray ED. So that's ray ED right here. So this is read as ray ED. And then we also have ray EA. So um, that's going to be EA, and we put the ray on top, um, uh, the ray symbol on top of it. And we have ray EC. So that would be EC, and then the ray symbol on top of it. So these are the four rays with endpoint E.
Now let's move on to the next one. Name all pairs of opposite rays with endpoint E. The definition for opposite rays is that these are two rays that have the same endpoint but extend in opposite direction. So together, a pair of opposite rays always form a straight line. So the partners here that are opposite to each other would be this. Uh, again, remember that opposite rays make up a line. So that means this line right here, we can go ahead and cut it because we say that the end point should be E. So that would be ray EB. So I'm just gonna uh, write that um, down here. So ray EB and the opposite ray to that is ray ED. So that would be ray ED right here. And then the other partner that we have here that our opposite rays would be ray EA. So I'm just gonna write that up down here. So ray EA and its opposite ray would be ray EC. So these are the two pairs of opposite rays for this problem that we have right here. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.